Hi, I'm Tracy with Yoga with Tracy. Are you looking for a stretch that is gonna be great for the hips? A lot of times we are sitting quite a bit, so it just wrecks havoc on this part of the body where everything feels super tight. We're gonna start our practice today. It's mostly gonna be gentle movements and um, mixing of Qigong and yin yoga. So reminding ourselves that at any time if you feel uncomfortable, we're gonna stop or not do it at all, okay? We're gonna start our practice down on the mat today. Um, we're gonna get into Sukhasana, which is easy sitting pose. Now this is not an easy sitting pose for most, which means um, we need props to help ourselves. So if you find that your knees don't look like mine and the knees are up like this, what you're gonna do is find a blanket Fold it nice and even like this. Or how about if not a blanket, then you're gonna use a towel, okay? Just as great. You'll place it underneath your sits bones, okay? Both sits bones evenly. And you'll notice um, the higher and thicker the blanket or the towel, the lower the knees uh, will go. So you elevate the pelvis to relax the knees. Go ahead and go, grab one of those. Make sure you're nice and comfortable. I'd like for us to start with our right foot in front of the left. There are no rules as to how close the feet need to be together. Just make sure that you're feeling comfortable and you're starting to open up the hips here. We're going to just take our hands onto the knees and just open up the chest for breathing. Breathing in for a seated cow and then exhale rounding the back for a seated cat. Okay, again, breathing in, open up the heart, exhale rounding the back for cat pose. So side profile here would look something like this. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this. That was to show you opening up, chest out, gentle curve in the back, opening up the front part of our spine, rounding the back, drawing the belly in, chin into the chest. Okay, again, breathing in and out. We're gonna do two more, inhaling and exhaling. So just breathing into the spine, and we have the, again, we said the right foot in front of the left. We're gonna go ahead, and that same feeling, that motion, we're gonna pull the chest forward slightly into a mini cow, and go into a cat pose, okay? We're gently circling the waist here, okay? This is great for the lower back, the waist, and our hips. We'll do three times, because three times a charm. And I'm breathing, okay? We're gonna go the other side. So I'm gently opening up my heart here, and then I'm rounding my back, chin into the chest. Okay, and forward, and back. And of course, I'm breathing with this. Forward, and back. Let's do one more for good luck. Forward mini cow and a mini cat. Perfect. Okay, take the arms up, breathe in, take your hands to the heart, draw the belly in, raise your arms up, and then relax the shoulders. Breathe out. Well done. Okay, switch your feet, evening out the body. Open up the heart, seated cow, exhale round the back, cat pose. Okay, again, breathing in, opening up, and out with the breath. Again, breathing in and out. Well done. Okay, so same thing here. We're gonna start this way, moving and circling. Okay, so going the opposite direction that you had from before. And then hopefully you're starting to feel, depending on how the body's feeling today, maybe you're feeling a gentle stretch into those hips. And maybe you're gently moving the waist. Okay, and then we're rotating the opposite direction. Three times, okay? So if you started on the one side and you're like, well, did I start on that side or what, which side was it? Well, it doesn't matter because you're switching anyway. Okay, so that was three and I'm gonna go one more for good luck. And out, ah, okay. 
Back to center, shoulders on top of the waist, arms up, draw belly in, inhale, and then exhale. Breathing in and breathing out. Well done. Bring the knees together, swing yourself around, come on up into tabletop. We're gonna go ahead and do that same thing on our hands and knees. Shoulders on top of the wrists, hips stacked on top of the knees. Let's wiggle wobble the hips. So after all, we are working the hips today. Stop at center, open up the chest for cow pose. Exhale, round back to cat. Again, breathing in and out. Very good. Now, I want you to melt all the way back into child's pose, softening here. Sits bones are gonna come down to the heels and if they don't come all the way down, then that's where you can grab your handy blanket or towel and we're gonna place it for support. Maybe you're folding it extra thick right underneath the heels, placing it right there. Oh, and then, wow, you're connecting and you're melting. Okay, so the purpose here is we're gonna melt into the chest, open up the hips a little and relax. So the arms can be in front, it's not too much on your cervical spine, your, your neck muscles are straining that, that area. You can take the hands behind you. Take a nice deep breath here in, relaxing and draping the shoulders over the thighs. So breathing in and out. In and out. Okay. So those of you who have the blanket between the legs, you may keep it there, okay, and readjust it. So I want you, everyone to slowly come on up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn myself around so you can see me. We're gonna widen the knees apart. I'm gonna remove this for me, but if you need it still, you go ahead and use it, okay? We're gonna have our big toes together, knees spread apart as much as you can so you're feeling a nice stretch on the inside of the legs. But that also, we're still working on the outside of the hips. Okay, we're gonna take our hands down here. And now I want you to hinge at the hips, round your upper back and melt forward. So we're gonna come on forward and relax here, breathing. Hmm. Nice deep breath in and out. And anywhere you're feeling tension or compression, I want you to try to direct your breath right to that area. So of course it's uh, kind of anatomically impossible to breathe directly into that space. However, you can take that intention in your mind and send that breath to the area of tension. So we're gonna do that for two more breaths here. Breathe in and out. One more breath in. And I'm gonna try to relax there in that hip spot. <sighs> well done. Okay, let's put a little action into this. Hands are gonna come on up to the center. Let's go ahead and take the left arm up for a nice high five to the sky and scoop through. Okay, breathing in and out. Inhaling, exhaling, one more. Breathing in and out. Great, hand down, other arm up. Breathe in and scoop. Inhale, lift, exhale, scoop, in and out, one more, breathing in and out, perfect. From here, bring those knees together, lift them up, Ah, perfect, okay. Now I want you to take your hands in front, step one, two feet between the hands into forward fold. Feet should be hip width distance apart, bend the knees, tight belly, come on up to that flat back, breathe in here, exhale, breathe out, down to the toes, and hinging at the hips, weight in the heels, come on all the way up, breathe in, reach, 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 and then take your hands to the heart, okay? We're gonna do a, a few half sun salutations, so arms up, breathe in, Dive to the toes, breathe out, bend the knees. Inhale the flat back, exhale to the toes. Come on all the way up, breathing in 
and exhale, hands to the heart. Okay, one more, breathe in, breathe out, dive. Inhale, a flat back, exhale down to the toes, come on all the way up, reach, and exhale, hands to the heart. Well done. Okay, let's widen our stance just a little bit more than hip width distance apart, okay? From here, I'm gonna take my hands onto my hips, relax my shoulders, bending my knees slightly. I'm going to start to do some circles. Does anyone have a hula hoop at home? This is the thing. We used to play with these hula hoops when I was a kid, quite a bit. And we didn't realize how beneficial they were, not just for fun, but also for the whole body. So it's great for the waist, but it's also good lower back and the hips. So I'm rotating one way with soft knees and rotate the other way. Great. So we're going to continue that because we need to put the chi and the blood moving into the space that we're going to work on. Okay, a couple more times. Good. Now from here, just to open up the whole body before we melt down into the pose I want to do next, which is pigeon pose, I'd like you to take your left arm and imagine you're scooping this beautiful energy from the universe. So you're scooping it from the space that's within and around you up and you're kind of like scooping it up and it's just falling over your body. And then you're melting it, solidifying it into your space. Breathing in, scooping, it's falling all over you. And then release, okay? We're gonna do that one more time on each side. Breathe in and out. Breathing in and out. Well done. I'd like you to come down to the mat now. Okay, so now we're gonna prepare for pigeon pose here. In this pose, I'd like you to first take your left knee in front and stacking your sit bone right on top of your heel. The other foot behind is gonna tuck under, scooch all the way back. Scoochity, scoochity, scooch. Okay, now I want you to lower the knee and lower the toe down. From here, I want you to take a nice deep breath in and out. And then from that point, with that left heel, okay, so now we're, the heel is underneath our sit bone, we're going to start to bring it in front. Scooching it in front slightly so that now our shin is fairly parallel to the front of this mat. So for people that are really flexible, this shin is can be fairly parallel to the front of the mat. Now in this posture, we have to be very careful on our hips because this is where we're working. We need to be careful with our knees and of course we want to make sure our ankles are nice and happy. So what are we going to do? We're going to use the props that we've that's assisted us when we're in our sitting pose. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that blanket or towel again. And if you find that look-see here, I'm falling into that hip, into that sit bone. I want you to pull yourself up, square off your hips, and stack something underneath your bum, okay? So it's propping you up so that you may be in that great position. Now, maybe you're not feeling anything here. Maybe what's happening is you've got this crimp in the knee. So I want you to make sure you're supporting your knee nice and comfortably and you are maybe putting something around uh, underneath your knee. Okay, so we are doing everything to make sure you're comfortable. If none of this is comfortable, then you are going to go back into your, um, we're going to go back into your um, sitting pose. But for now, let's see how this feels for everyone. We're gonna find, so I'm gonna remove this. That was just to show you. I'd like you to take a look behind you. So I'm gonna look behind me and to make sure that my foot is not curved. It's nice and straight. From here, I'd like us to lift up the chest, not too much pressure on the lower back. If you have any lower back pain, you will not do this. If you don't, we're going to open up the chest for a proud swan 
and then melt all the way down here and breathe. I want you to wiggle the toes, put a little action and contraction in the body, and then relax. We're gonna be here for four more breaths because I talked quite a bit on maneuvering this whole space with the props. We're gonna take four breaths starting now, in and out. Inhaling, exhaling, breathing in and out, relaxing the face, breathe in and out. Well done. Slowly come on up. Take your hands down. Let's tuck the toes behind us and slowly push up and back to downward dog where you're walking it out. Now, if downward dog's like it not feeling, you're not feeling downward dog today, then go ahead and just go on your knees and just gently kick out those legs nice and slow. Okay, so you have all these options. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my downward dog walking it out. And then I'm gonna prepare for the other side. Okay, so now we're gonna take that right knee in front, stacking, remember, our sit bone right on top of that heel to tuck the other toe behind us, to scooch it further back so we're opening up the psoas here, lowering the knee, lowering the toe. Take a look, is it curved or nice and straight? Now I'm gonna scooch, scooch, scooch my heel out I'm gonna grab onto my prop, my blanket or my towel to make sure I'm nice and comfortable. So everyone now knows what they need to use and every side of the body is different. So make sure you're comfortable here. Oh, I'm gonna open up my chest for a proud swan. Oh, and then I'm gonna move more closely to the floor to enjoy this nice, deep stretch into my hip in pigeon pose. It's also known as swan in yin yoga. Okay, so concentrating on relaxing and melting. These postures are meant to put a little bit of tension and compression onto the area so that we may flood it with synovial fluid and hyaluronic acid when we're done. Putting a little stress so that it can release these beautiful fluids. Okay, so we're going to take two more breaths at this point. Breathe in and out. And if you haven't wiggled those toes to relax everything, please do it now for the last breath in. And out. Well done. So we're slowly gonna come on up, please. Draw the belly in, slowly come on up. And the best way to get out of this posture is tucking the toes under, pushing up and back. Ooh, downward dog, walking it out, feeling that rebound, that rush of blood and chi flowing into those hips. Perfect. Okay, let's walk our feet toward our hands to forward fold, and then press yourself all the way up. Breathe in, reach up, inhale as we come up to avoid feeling dizzy. I'm gonna come back to center to face you, hands on the hips, bend the knees, and gently roll out those hips. Okay, other side. Now I want you to widen the stance where the toes are turned out slightly. I want you to bend, just seeing how they feel, okay? Great, now we're gonna take the arms and bend. Breathe in and out. In and out. One more, in and out. Well done, okay. Hands onto the thighs. We're gonna just stretch into the back and the, low, and the shoulders. Just drawing them inward slightly. Perfect. And then come on up, perfect. 
bring those legs together. Let's shake it all out, okay? So if you've seen any of my videos before, you know I always love to add some Qigong and Chinese medicine principles and practices, and that involves tapping yourself. Okay, so we're gonna take these nice, gentle C curves of our hands. I want you to tap onto those um, hips. So really, you're tapping kind of on your bum. And then we're gonna tap all the way down to the sides of the legs. And I want you to tap onto the inside of the legs. Okay, we're gonna do that again. I'm gonna rub and tap the outside of the legs and on the inside. But I'm making sure I'm breathing as I'm doing this, okay? Again, tapping, breathe out and breathe in. Ah, well done. Okay, let's come on down to the mat. Whoosh. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way down to the mat here, bringing both knees into the chest for a big hug. I want you to rock from side to side. Great. Now from here, let's lower the right leg down, bring the left knee into the chest. Take a nice breath here, in and out. Now taking your right hand to the outside of that left thigh, I'd like you to take that left leg over to the right side of the body, okay? And then if you're head and uh, neck allows it, you may look to the opposite direction, making sure that the shoulders are on the ground and relaxed, okay? In this posture, we're focusing on opening up the hip, the left hip here, but we're breathing, sending energy, sending breath down to the hip, down to the belly, and to the lower back. Relax your shoulders. I always like to close my eyes in this, in this part of the practice because I find that it helps me to really relax my muscles, my tendons. When my eyes are open, they're more activated looking around, but if my eyes are closed, I have nothing to concentrate but what I'm focused and working on. So one more breath here with your eyes gently closed. Breathe in and out. Perfect, come on back to center. Bring that knee into the chest and let's release it. Okay, other side, right knee into the chest. Big hug, big breath. Okay, now we're gonna take the left hand to the outside of that right thigh, draw it over to the left side of the body, taking the right arm out, keeping the shoulders relaxed and flat down to the ground. Closing the eyes if you can. Give yourself permission to relax. Breathe. You're focusing on breathing in the belly, the hips, and of course the lower back. But feel that nice gentle stretch in the hip and surrender to it. Inhaling and exhaling, breathing in and out, well done. Okay, come on back to center, nice stretch to the, bring that knee in, ah, and then release your legs all the way down. It's always nice to close any form of practice that you do, even if it's 10 minutes, 15, 30, maybe even five, to give yourself a little quiet space and time to soak in and absorb the benefits of what you had just practiced. Think of this time as settling in muscle memory. So with your eyes gently closed, your face is relaxed and the space between your eyes are relaxed. Just breathe into your belly Take a few breaths to soak in and absorb. Namaste.